Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the world famous Whiskey Chaser channel. Judy Chop, Credit Chop, Ninja Chop. You got your Judy Chop, all right. You got your Karate Chop, and you got your Ninja Chop. What we're talking about today, I know this is gonna sound a little bit repetitive because I already did a video on this, but we're gonna be talking about a two month review of this Cena 10C Evo camera that I have mounted on the side of my helmet. The Cena 10C Evo is an all-in-one device that offers Bluetooth connectivity, intercom pairing, and a full 4K camera. After using this device for about two months, I have finally learned all the buttons, but they are difficult. There are only about four buttons, and to use all the features, it takes a combo of those buttons to make some of the things happen. The radio works okay, it's hard to find presets, and the presets can be overwritten way too easily. If you don't know the stations of the area you're in, it does offer a scan feature, which is cool, but it's difficult to turn off. The button on the very back is called the phone button. If you link this phone button with Google or Siri, it immensely helps with use. You can call, text, use Pandora or Spotify, almost anything with one touch. The mic is okay, but it doesn't need to be right in front of your mouth. If it is, it may pick up some awkward breathing. In the app, there is an option to have it have low gain, medium gain, or high gain. I have it on the lowest setting, and it still almost picks up way too much. The battery does die very quickly. You can maybe get two days of regular use out of it before it needs to charge. The camera uses more battery, and you can get maybe one and a half hours of use before it dies. Luckily though, you can use this while charging, so a battery pack in your pocket and a long cable will be sure long-term rides get great footage. I did have some problems with recordings just stopping without any warning. I'm thinking it was the SD card I used as the new card I've had really hasn't had that problem, but preemptive actions have also been taken by periodically stopping and starting recordings manually to prevent lost footage. This typically happened whenever I was going over a very bumpy road, so it might just have something to do with the design of the product. Maybe it's not holding the card in correctly, and once that card gets lodged loose, it stops recording. For my use, it seems to be working best as just a recording device, not with music playing through the headset. The music does sound great in the speakers, but there's no way to record music playing and not have it be on the video, which is a copyright problem on YouTube. Using two headsets or having an earbud in can easily fix this problem, however. I use a Galaxy Bud in one ear, which is low profile and very comfortable for music, and then the headset for recording and phone calls. The peer-to-peer -peer intercom is great and I love how it gets recorded on the device. It's easy to hook up and use, and you can basically just slap the button on the side and it will connect. The app that comes with the device is okay, but really it's only there for you to get the camera set right. After that, it's pretty much useless unless you absolutely need to check your footage and you can't get to a computer. However, this does take quite a long time. Having more than one hardware set is great for being able to switch between helmets effortlessly. The 10C Helmet Clamp Kit on Amazon runs for about $40. You can use it on three-quarter helmets for shorter, slower rides, and full face for longer, faster, or colder rides. You can also use this device on a half helmet, but there's really no way to effectively use the microphone or the speakers, so really it would just be for visual recording.
As a motorcycle blogging camera, this thing is absolutely amazing. It's way smaller than a GoPro on the side of the front of your helmet, and it feels like there's literally nothing there. It records in 4K if you want, and looks absolutely amazing during the day. I use 1080 because you can't snap pictures in 4K, and it's just easier to use for the footage, but both of them look great. I'm not sure why, but the night video looks really cruddy. There's lots of lens flares, and you just can't see much. But it looks just a little bit worse than a GoPro anyway, so it still seems worth it. It can function as a great vlogging camera, but even if you aren't into that, the rest of the features make it worth it, in my opinion. It plays music, has a great intercom, records video effortlessly, which is great in case of an accident from you or somebody else, and then it takes beautiful daytime pictures. Having the radio is fine, but in my opinion, it's kind of unnecessary. Even if your phone is dead and you can't hook it up to that sweet Spotify playlist, I'd rather go with no music versus the crackly commercially radio that comes through on this device. Overall, I think this unit is very worthwhile as long as it's working correctly. In fact, I like it so much that I got another one in case this one gets lost or stolen or even breaks. Even when I'm not recording content, I still turn it on when I'm riding just for continual peace of mind and in case something does happen, I have evidence of it. It pairs extremely well with my phone and that phone button I talked about earlier that hooks up to my Google Assistant allows me to easily make playlist changes, take phone calls on the road, or even text over voice. So there are a little bit of my opinions and ideas of what this thing is all about. I do actually really like it. I think for the price, you get some pretty good features. The thing is, I didn't want an action cam. Like, I, if I was gonna go out and I was gonna buy a GoPro, I could have done that. I could have got a whole head mounted unit, everything like that for my helmet. And I could have been able to take that and gone and done something else with it. Like if I wanted to go snowboarding or if I wanted to go out on the lake or anything like that. But that's not what I wanted. I wanted a dedicated unit specifically for moto vlogging. And this was one of the best ones I could find for a good price that is not invasive. It doesn't really feel like there's anything on the helmet, which is what I really like. And my biggest suggestion is if you go out and you get one of these things, go get that 10C clamp kit because that made a world of difference. Being able to transfer the unit back and forth between my smaller helmet and my bigger helmet whenever I want to within literal seconds is just absolutely amazing to me. The fact that this thing shoots such great video, maybe not at nighttime, but during the day at least, is just really, really cool. Like I said, it feels like there's nothing there it effortlessly records. The only big real gripe I have are the buttons. And I understand that on such a small unit, you can only put so many buttons on there, but with so many features, having to deal with all the different combinations, like for instance, the jog dial, which turns the volume up, turns the volume down, is also in itself a button. So if you're reaching up and you accidentally push that jog dial while you're trying to adjust the volume, it's going to automatically connect your intercom if you're connected with whoever you're connected with. It's going to pause your music, it's going to connect you guys, whatever, you're going to be confused because everybody's going to be like, what's going on? Did something happen? And that's just kind of a thing that's, you know, a little bit sucky. You know, to turn the unit on, to turn the unit off, you have to hit the middle button and the phone button at the same time, which I get confused about sometimes and I forget and I think it's the camera button. So I'm like, why won't this thing turn off? Why won't it turn on? The other thing is going to be, for some reason, the lost footage. There's been a couple times where I was riding, I think, I guess it was just over some bumpy terrain and the SD card in it just wasn't seated right or something because I got home and I pulled the footage and all the footage was corrupted, which really sucks because I had some really good stuff. And you know, whenever you work real hard and you record and you try to make some good content and you think you got something good and then you go home and that's just gone, it's just kind of heartbreaking and devastating. And that's not something that you want to have to worry about when you're riding. One thing that is nice is it does have a mode where after it reaches a certain limit, it will automatically 
stop the recording and start a new recording so that just in case something like that does happen, you don't have to worry about losing everything. You still do get some content. The thing about the microphone too is like, I have it set on low. Like it's not supposed to be picking up everything. And there is some noise cancellation on it. It has a noise canceling side and then it has the actual boom mic side. And even set on low, I understand that like I'm in a full face helmet and there's a little bit more reflectivity of noise and stuff like reflectivity. That's not what it's called. Chase, you went to school for physics. Even just barely talking, this thing is so loud. I have to turn the volume down so much when I get into editing these videos because it's just so amazing. And even in the three quarter helmet, I do have the mic just a little bit closer to my mouth because it is open air, but it's still really loud. Whenever I'm going at higher speeds, the wind noise is almost a little bit too much to be able to use the footage. And you can hear. Like, it picks up your breathing a lot. Other than that, though, I mean, there's two little minor things, and really, you get over that kind of stuff. Having to turn the volume up in post is really not that big of a deal, and, you know, having to deal with lost footage sucks, but what are you going to do? All things that are electronic, all things are deemed to fail. Like I said, it is a little pricey, but you can find the... Cena 10C Pro, which is another intercom communication unit that's just below this one. The Evo kind of superseded that 10C Pro, and that's still a great camera as well. It has almost all of the features that this one does, but it just is a little bit bigger. I don't think it shoots in 4K. I'm not 100% on that, but it still does 1080, 60 frames per second. It's still a great intercom unit, and that's the thing is these units are not intended to be what I'm using it for. It is nice that it works out that way, but it is not intended to be a vlogging camera. It's intended to be an intercom communication system that just so happens to have Bluetooth connectivity to your phone and just so happens to have a really nice camera attached to it so that you can record. Basically, it's supposed to be a glorified dash cam. You turn the unit on, you don't worry about it. Just in case something happens, you have video footage of it because people get hit every single day. It sucks, but it happens. But it it is really nice that we are able to come out here and use it for what is essentially the best logging channel on the face of the planet. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. Well, hopefully you got a little bit more out of this video. If you watched the previous video, I hope that I was able to shed a little bit more light on how this unit works, what it's all about. If you have not watched the previous video, I will go ahead and link it up there so that you can go check it out. That one's more like a first impression. I didn't get a chance to see what the visual or audio quality was like before I was able to finish the video. I had to go record and then I took the video off of the unit that I made the video. I uh, wasn't able to really kind of see what it was all about beforehand. But like I said, now that I've had it for a couple months and I've been around and I've been able to figure out what's going on with it, how to use it and the such, I think that yes. it's a thumbs up from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, please comment. And if you have not already, please subscribe. We do videos every Friday. That is my schedule that I've been trying to stick with. And it's been kind of working out, you know, like I'm digging it. So we're gonna try to keep doing that. If there's anything that you'd like me to do a review of, if there was any place you would like to go see in New York City or around New York, I can go do that. We can take a day trip to go anywhere we want, man. I just got some great cold weather gear. I ain't scared of the cold. It's 43 degrees right now. Look at me, I'm wearing jeans, I don't care. Thank you everybody who's made it this far. You're the best, we'll see you later.